The short squeeze on Wall Street in the past week or so, fueled by social media and targeting most prominently the company GameStop, has inspired small investors in South Korea. A top official is warned, though, of volatility created in the market by what he calls herd behavior. Om Ji Young has more. Small retail investors have defied the short sellers on Wall Street by exploding the price of GameStop shares. The price has come down a bit, but their campaign has spread to the South Korean stock market too. Like the now famous forum Wall Street Bets on the social network Reddit, a group of influential retail traders in South Korea have launched K Street Bets to do battle against short selling, which they call an axis of evil. Retail investors are suffering massive losses because of short selling. Short sellers are reaping about 39 times the gains of individual investors. If it were a game, they'd have a win rate of 97.5 percent. We started this movement to reduce the damage to small investors. To put it simply, short selling is when investors bet a stock is going to go down in price. It's a technique used mostly by big banks and hedge funds. To reduce market volatility in the pandemic, short selling has been banned in South Korea since last March. But there are still some short positions taken before the ban that have been extended. So to prevent a short squeeze like the one on GameStop, when investors tried to push short sellers out by bidding up the price, foreigners and institutions have been buying certain companies. The share price of pharmaceutical firm Celtrion, one of the most heavily shorted local stocks, surged by 14.5 percent on Monday. The bio company HLB saw its price go up by more than 7 percent. South Korea's first vice finance minister Kim Yong Bum said Tuesday that the GameStop case is a classic example of herd mentality that has raised market volatility. In a digitalized trading environment, herd behavior like the GameStop case could happen frequently now that all market participants can get information easily. Therefore, we will closely monitor the impact. The anti-short selling battle has also spread to silver. Silver futures extended a surge of as much as 13 percent on Monday to 30 U.S. dollars and 35 cents, lifting the prices to an 80-year high. Om Jiyong, Arirang News.